Hello and welcome to Artifact School YouTube channel. In today's video lesson, we're going to touch upon one of the most frequently asked questions during our workshops and webinars and lessons, how to mix colors. And I'm sure that some of you who already have some experience in watercolor know that you can get almost any tone, any color you want with just using three primary colors. For those, those of you who do not know about that, you're going to learn in this video how to actually get those colors. And our instructor, Jean Arnaud, is going to share with you his uh, principles and approach to mixing colors. And also, he's going to add one more, the fourth color, in order to make the tone darker and more conscious. So, uh, watch this video lesson. And for those of you who would like to put it in practice, um, we would like to offer a free uh, lesson by Jean, in which you're going to learn how to mix various colors, and also you're going to create a beautiful painting under his guidance. So, just click on the right upper corner, there is an active link over there, and get registered and get a, a link to the video lesson by Jean. So, do not forget also to like this video, it really means, means a lot to us. So subscribe to our YouTube channel and of course to turn on the bell and not meet, miss our next video lessons. So now I think we are ready to go. Get ready with your three primary colors and let's start. Let me show you a few things about my mixing process I display first my three primary colors royal blue yellow gamut plus red cadmium and in a triangle taking water I'm waiting in the center between these three colors and here is my royal blue when on the paper now let's enter the game with the yellow mixing with the blue is giving a kind of green but as you see it's a green turning into gray a little bit. Then with the red, and when mixed together, the three colors, it gives a kind of gray. Okay, so these three colors, when added one to the other, gives this kind of gray, neutral gray or warm gray. It's a gray that you can easily turn into a yellow or a blue or a red, depending on the quantity of color you add. My first step is about the values from 0 to 30% and I only work with these colors. Second step. When I need to get some darker colors, I add to my palette some indigo and I do the same process, I mean indigo plus yellow gives a green but a dark green indigo is a dark blue and when mixed to the cadmium red we get a kind of dark red okay so Royal blue plus yellow plus red give these light colors from 0 to 30% in terms of values. But when you add some indigo, you can easily now reach some very uh, darker values. What is interesting also with the royal blue, with the indigo, it's that when you mix with red cadmium, you get this kind of natural gray. 
I talk a lot about grays because it's um, very important in my process that we get some dark grays, neutral gray. Then when I add more blue, obviously it turns into blue. And when I add more red, it turns into a warm gray. Warm gray, natural gray, blue gray. So try this exercise once again. And if you succeeded in this, do not forget to register for a free lesson by Jean Arnaud uh, via active link in the right upper corner of this video lesson or in the active link in the description to this video and watch the full 30 minute lesson devoted to mixing colors and at the end of which you're going to get beautiful painting done by yourself. So at this I say you see you soon and try harder and try better with your watercolor.